again, my special friends. It's time again for our good night devotions. Are you ready? Have you picked up your toys? Have you brushed your teeth? And are you in your jammies like I am? If so, then you're ready for good night devotions. Let's join the kids in the neighborhood and learn why God is great and good. We'll meet new friends and share our love and learn from God above. <laughs> Let's start with a Bible verse again. Yesterday, our Bible verse was from the book called Isaiah, and so is tonight's Bible verse. From Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1, it says, God said, I have called you by name. Can you repeat that with me? Isaiah 43, 1. God said, I have called you by name. Very good. Now let's see what our friends on Apple Tree Lane are learning about today. Here's a picture. Mia Chang had a new kitten. It had long black fur. It had big yellow eyes. And it had the fluffiest tail Mia had ever seen. But the kitten didn't have a name. Why don't you call him Fluffy, said Sophie Springley. But Max Popo didn't like that. Ah, that's a sissy name, said Max. How about calling him Max? Mia laughed. One Max is enough around here. I want a name that's just right. Just then, Jimmy Lopez rode up on his pony, Schnickelfritz. Now there's a funny name, laughed Max. But Jimmy said, hey, Schnickelfritz is a way to say little friend in German. My grandpa told me that. Sophie sighed. It's hard thinking up names. Do you think anyone knows all the names in the world? God does, said Max. God knows everyone's name because God made us. God even knows the name of your kitten before you do, Mia. Well, I wish God would tell, just tell me my kitten's name, sighed Mia. Suddenly, boom, crash, boom. Wow, that was some loud thunder. Sounds like a big storm is coming, said Max. And I think God just named my kitten, laughed Mia. <laughs> I'll call him Stormy. Now let's go home, Stormy before it rains cats and dogs. <laughs> All right, it's time to put on your thinking hats. Put on your thinking cap. I've got a couple questions. Here's the first one. How does God know your name? That's a good question, isn't it? Because he does know your name. And here's the second. How does it feel to belong to God. Mm, I think it feels really good. Stormy is a good name for Mia's kitten, don't you think? God knows all of our names because he made us and he loves us. What is your name? Did you know that God has a special name for you? He calls you his because you belong to him. Mm. Now let's play a name game, okay? See if you know these special names. What's the name of our creator? Do you remember from yesterday? Who created everything? God, that's right. What's the name of God's son? Do you know that one? God's son is named Jesus. <laughs> Here's the last question. What's your best friend's name? Do you have a best friend? 
as you go to sleep, name some people who love you. I'll bet you can think of a bunch of them. <laughs> All right, but just remember that the one who loves you the most of all is God himself. Let's pray. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God right now. You can repeat these words. Dear God, I'm glad you call us each by name. You know and love us all the same. Thank you, God, for knowing me and for loving me. Amen. <laughs> Let's tuck you in, turn off the light. Now it's time to say good night. God is watching over you. He keeps us safe the whole night through. God's love is near us. God's love is near us. God's love is near us. Sleep tight. I love you, dear. God bless you. Good night. Sleep tight. tomorrow.